but looks like we got all the emails sent and stuff, so that's good. Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to the Illusion Ranch. I think we shut the door. Yep, sure did. Hop into the Bronco here, got this thing running. So let's head on out. So right down the way here, we got ourselves a harvest going on. Our neighbors uh, have got rye ready to harvest, so we're helping out with that today. And so uh, we're going to actually jump into a pretty nice looking combine here. We'll go ahead and park the Bronco off-road. So that way I can go and grab lunch or anything that I might need while we're working here. Alrighty. So let me hop on in here and we'll start unfolding everything. Get this thing started. Alright, get us unfolded here. Looks good. Got all of our pipe commands. Very nice. There we go. Alrighty. Check and make sure everything's working. Looks like it is. So we are ready to start harvesting here. Sweet. So we ended up doing uh, the harvest right next to us. And uh, ended up helping out with that guy. And uh, that ended up going pretty good. Got to keep an eyeball on that edge there while we make our headlands pass. And uh, that should help us out pretty good. Already at 11% in this thing. Good night. That's that's pretty good. We're filling up quick. So we got the Kubota put in the uh, trailer. So we should be able to use that quite a bit today. So we'll see how all that goes. But yeah, that looks pretty good on the uh, monitor there for what we're harvesting. Looks like there might be a decent amount of moisture in there too. I'm not a big guy on... Uh, Rye, I'm not a whole lot, don't have a lot of information on this. So I'm going to guess that uh, moisture is good, but I honestly have no, no idea. Uh, the guy's out of town, so he dropped off his harvester here so I could uh, be able to do this for him. And uh, we'll get the shipped out for him as well. We are at 54% in this thing already, and that's just with one one of the headlands that is insane we might be able to make it all the way down I don't know I'm gonna leave an edge to the side though just so that we don't miss any because that's probably my biggest thing is uh, trying to do it straight I kind of miss uh, some so we'll just kind of give it a little bit of extra room kind of like we do with a mower and just make sure that we don't have any overlap make sure that we have overlap so we don't miss anything yeah, that stuff is, woo, it's fitting up pretty good. So he's he's got himself a pretty good uh, harvest as far as I can tell. Very nice. Good for him. So anyways, we got some uh, interesting things on the ranch going on. First things first, I need to do another coffee drop off here soon. And that should really help us know where we are money-wise and we have just filled up there <laughs> good night All right, well gotta drive on through here go ahead and get my uh, pipe out here let's see at this point I'm just gonna drive all the way back down to the Kubota that's gonna be a long run man this thing feels so fast I think I'm gonna s to bring the Kubota to the back of the field so I've got to go ahead and run it anyways but anyways what we'll do is uh, start from the back and go back and forth I think because this thing is going to fit up really really quick apparently looks like we got 9300 liters in here not sure why it says the liters I might have to go through and reprogram it so it starts saying the uh, the uh, correct the correct imperial measurement so I actually know what I'm looking at that would be helpful ah oh, well everybody's got to tune things thrown away I guess alright let's see we should be able to get to this grain cart here I 
don't think there should be too much of an issue. Ooh, watch the sign, watch the sign. This thing could use a bit of a longer uh, pipe, honestly. I'm looking at that. Let's see. Come on. Come on. There it goes. Alrighty. Yep, so that's unloading there. Good. Gonna check on the sensor in here. Oh yeah, we got lots of space inside the uh, inside the cart. Sweet, yeah, we're not gonna be we'll be able to do multiple loads with this cart. Very, very good. Okay, that's what we want to see. Nice. Alrighty. Should be uh there it goes. Awesome. Alrighty. So we'll go ahead and take a we'll get this little snippet right here. Yep. There we go. Wasn't a whole lot there, but go ahead and do that. Alright, well I'm just gonna head right back up this same swath here and we're just gonna get up there and start going back and forth on the back end of this field just so that we can start moving our way towards the road rather than away from the road. I think that'll be a little more efficient. That sounds like a good idea to me. I was gonna do headland passes all the way around but honestly there's plenty of space. I think the main thing was just right there was I needed a headland because of uh, the that little pond there just so I have plenty of space to turn around. That was the main thing that uh, I was kinda worried about so we got that carry taken care of, so I don't think that should be as much of an issue. Alright, let's turn, and there we go. Sweet. So we're a little bit behind on uh, the financial things on the ranch, unfortunately. As I said, got a rather large load of coffee that we need to ship out. That could definitely help. Um, I got a uh, grass field that I need to actually mow and do all that stuff, but I was waiting for a little bit more moolah because I need to buy a, um, I think it's a Widrower that I need to buy, so I got that. I think we're going to run out of space at a, almost the same time here. Get this edge here. But anyways, just trying to balance the finances and stuff is a little bit more, uh, not quite as easy as you might think. It's, li it's a little bit tricky. Alright, well, I'm going to take a little swipe off of this one side and head back down here because uh, we gotta get back to the green card already this thing's already full up good night I would ask mom to come out and uh, do this but she's she's currently off doing a women's retreat so don't want to distract from that and we're gonna fill up right we're gonna fill up at really close, really close. 100, there it is. Alrighty, so we are full. Make sure we don't run over any of that stuff. This is a nice combine, but it does not have much capacity. I can tell you that right now. And I left my pipe out the whole time. Well, you know what? Less, we'll have less use. We won't overuse the hydraulics, taking it in and out, in and out. It might actually be a good thing. Help help the uh, hydraulics not get overused. Uh, this is going to be my existence here for a while, so while I figure out how to do this the best way, I think I need to totally move this trailer here. Let me see. Let me back this up for just a second. How do I want to do this? I need the trailer in a better spot because right now I got the, the, the tractor turned a weird way. I think I'm going to take him. I don't need him on the road. I can't have him on the road just in case some strange person decides to come along. So we will put it. We should be able to put it on the edge of the field here. I would think, but once again, it's one of those tricky things. I'm gonna put it right in this little gully here. Luckily, it's not really a ditch; it's just kind of a little uh, runoff of for water. And should be able to use it right there, hopefully. 
So let's grab the combine here, and this might make things a little bit easier to get to. Alrighty. Let's see. I'm going to take a swipe off of this one edge down here next to. Ooh, that is tight. There we go. Yep, that'll work, so... Alrighty, guys, so while I am busy working on this, I'm gonna get the drone set up and everything, and I'm just gonna let that thing fly around and uh, follow me as I work. There's a... got some new country music that uh, I found that I'm gonna put up, put over that, I think. It's pretty good sounding stuff, so... Anyways, I gotta get back to work. And uh, hopefully, we'll get this all squared away and done, and uh, luckily, once we get it done, uh, the neighbor says that I can get some of the profit from the harvest, so real nice of it. We'll get that drone shot up, and we'll get back to work here. Farming by the grace of God Mama's voice called from the porch Smell of biscuits, coffee, fruit so strong Through the trials, tears in the yard We're farming by the grace of God By the grace of God we lay our seeds On the sacred ground our hearts it Stained shirts, we work hand in hand Through the bounty of time's grown heart We're farming by the grace of God When the harvest moon is shining bright And the stars reflect our endless fight By the sweat of our brow through night and day By the grace of God Our endless fight by the sweat of our brow through night and day by the grace of God we find our way by the grace of God we lay our seeds on the sacred ground our hearts it feeds when the rain falls down and the sun stands tall we're farming by the grace of God Grace of God. Alrighty guys, so we're heading back into town with our second load of uh, rye. It's taking a little bit longer since the combine doesn't have much of a uh, much of a capacity, but uh, I think we're going to get it done. It might be able to get the field done with one more load on this uh, cot that we got, but uh, I'm not totally sure on that. But uh, we're going along pretty good. The longest thing is uh, getting to town because I don't have any bins on the ranch, and uh, that's another reason why I have to take it into town to the uh, to the grain mill is uh, because uh, the buddy doesn't have any uh, space to hold rye either. So we got to take it all the way over there, and uh, they do all the prep work and uh, set it to the uh, set it on the railroad. So. Seems like the price is pretty good. I saw like uh, I think three seventeen per bushel, so something something along that line. So not a bad price, honestly. Uh, not a big guy on the market for all that stuff, but 
it sounds pretty good anyways because I was, I was looking it up because uh, he was saying that I need to take it there and I was like well was there any other place that buys it and uh, there was a few others and they were all like uh, 292 or something like that a bushel so oh good night somebody threw a sign out in the middle of the road but anyways we're taking this back to the grain milk get it unloaded we'll get back to the ranch I might take a, a break and uh, get myself some lunch but uh, other than that we're, we're running along pretty good here and hopefully we'll have this done before the end of the day we should but uh, eh, you never know and uh, I think uh, Bear Creek Outdoor in Kubota, obviously my own pop shop that I was working with for a while there they ended up uh, getting a franchise with those guys and uh, definitely got some nice equipment on the lot now it looks really really good plus also they should have my widower in stock here soon so that'll be cool we'll get back with you in a bit Golden fields stretch out as far as the eye can see Where the sun sets slow behind the lone old oak tree In the heartland where the rivers gently flow It's the kind of place where time moves nice and slow on a blanket of green Living simple where everything is clean Tractors hum a tune through the farmland rules In the hard land This is the life we chose In the hard land where dreams are sown Every sunrise feels like coming home It's where love grows wild and life feels right Underneath the stars and the pale moonlight Beneath the covered bridges whispers of the past Echo in the winds they're built to last Hometown heroes with stories they'll share Of heartland spirit living everywhere Cornbread baking in a small farm house Every porch light is a beacon, not a house Neighbors always there to lend a helping hand In this hard land, dear, it's all so grand In the hard land where dreams are sown Every sunrise feels like coming home back from town and uh, we are heading right on back to the field we actually got a uh, I just remembered like there's my neighbor has a, a secondary field we got to harvest today so it's clear there isn't any rain in the uh, forecast so we're gonna keep on working we got the header trailer right there got the Bronco waiting so I think we can finish this entire field off here with one more run of the combine 
so I think we should be able to get this done. The, the combine's very comfy. AC is working great. Uh, it's definitely not airtight, though. I can tell you that. Uh, it's pretty dusty in there, so my sinuses are going to be really messed up after this, but that's okay. This shut off. But yeah, I pop up the map here, so field 20, that's going to be kind of hard to get to, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's his other field that we got to go and do here, so let me hop back on in here, there we go, this turned on, that looks good, as I said, I think we should be able to finish this with one more cartload. And uh, it should be good from there, hopefully. As I said, it's really hard to see. I don't know what it is, but something with the offset of the header or something. Just it's really hard to see this the left side of the header. It's kind of interesting. Let me stare at it really good here. That's just, it is so hard to see that edge. There, there we go. Yeah, it's really hard to see. The right side I can see really, really well, and that works out great but this left side man it is I it is hard for me to be able to, to see it definitely not my forte looking at the left side I'll turn around and right side way off on the right side but yeah we should get the majority of this done here this time I think we should be good Got a few strands I left out there, so I have to take care of that. It's kind of my problem with the left side. Yeah, we should definitely finish it with this cart load, I hope. There we go. We'll just give it a, a bit more offset, just so that I don't miss anything, because that's the problem. Is I miss quite a lot on that left side, and that really doesn't help us with time. So yeah, we're at about uh, almost three o'clock here. So we've been we've been working at this pretty hard all day, and uh, almost finished. But uh, it, it's been going for a little bit here. Let's see, can we make it to the end of the row before we run out of space in the combine? I don't think we're going to go ahead and back it down. There we go. Yep. Back it up, back it up. I was hoping we weren't uh, going to have to do that, but uh, ran out of room. Drive on on to the cot, unload. One thing I have to say is that um, this stuff's harvesting pretty, pretty easy. I've helped out before uh, with them, um, with a uh, with a neighbor, and that was when he was doing corn. Corn is, ooh, that's thick stuff. This rice seems to be a little bit on the thinner side, a little bit easier to uh, get done. Obviously, it's a totally different header setup, so that's one thing. But uh, this is definitely a lot easier to run through than uh, corn when he was running that. So definitely appreciate that because that's that's helped me a whole lot because I haven't had to really back up any, try to unclog the header. So that's definitely been uh, a nice thing not to have to do. Okay, I got to get this line back up here. And shop turn, and we're gonna come off. We're gonna be a little bit off, but we'll, we'll get it done. Watching that right side of the header. There we go. I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come up here, since my left side is not so good at watching, and we'll do it this way. There we go. For whatever reason, I can just I can see the right side of the header so much better than the left side. I don't know what it is. But I can just, I can look down there and I can see it so much better in this combine than I can the left side. And that just really helps me out with uh, not missing anything. So, just really like that a whole lot more. Yeah, we should get done here pretty quick, hopefully. Might fill up one more time. And, uh, but we might be able to finish it all, this all in one more, one more combine full, but I think we're going to have to unload again. But yeah, luckily he's going to give us a pretty good share of whatever the profit is he makes on this, so definitely appreciate that. 
and uh, that's going to help us out, and uh, I had to help him out too, I had some time off, didn't have a whole lot going on, so could just really take a little bit of break and do this, so I've been listening to some podcasts and stuff, I'm trying to catch up on some NASCAR news, Got all kinds of different things happening in that particular realm. Got some new tracks that they're racing at, which sound like pretty fun. Gotta go back and try and find some replays and whatnot to watch those, but uh, sounds like it's doing going pretty good. Alrighty. We should. I was expecting I would have to have uh, unloaded before we finished up, but I think we're gonna finish up right there. Sweet. All right, where's uh, the, yeah, got a little row right here. There we go. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and unload this. And I'm gonna take this train and we're gonna unload at the grain mill again. I could take it over to the next field, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that just so I can give him a good estimate on um, what, what he's making from each field. I can turn off the, the header there, there we go. But uh, that way he has a really good idea of uh, what he did on this field versus uh, the next field that we're going to do. Just so we have that all squared away and good info for him. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and drive this on over. I'm going to get this header uh, parked onto the trailer too. Because it's kind of tight getting into this field from what I remember. I haven't been there in a while, but... From what I remember, it's a pretty tight little uh, little pathway there, so we'll get this done here. And spin around, should be able to get this done. Ooh, a little bit into the field, not too bad. Alright. There. Alright, very good, got it on there. Sweet. Get a hold of that. Alright, the combine's ready for the drive. Let me run on over to the tractor. And we will take this load. But man, we did a really good job. Got this knocked out decently quick. It took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but not too bad. Alright, so back to town, and then uh, come back, grab the combine there, and we will head on out to the next field, get that knocked out for our friend and neighbor, and hopefully won't have any issues or problems there, so that will be good. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get get uh, driving here, and we'll bring you back once we're at the next field. Alrighty, just got ourselves flipped around here. Park off to the side. We should be good to go. There we go. Alrighty, let's get harvesting here. We already got uh, a partial payout from our buddy from that. Uh, that first batch of uh, rye, so much obliged to him for already sending us a little bit of that over. Definitely very kind of him. Alrighty, so this I don't think is going to harvest quite as well, but we'll have to see. Definitely a lot of trees around. Trying to stay to the side here and get ourselves a nice little headland away from these trees. But this should go pretty quick. I think we should be able to do this all in one cart load, I would hope. A little bit more up to the front here. There it is. We are done. Sweet. 
All right, I'm gonna get this onto little trader here. We'll park it up at his place. And we will call it a day from there, but that is, that is a sweet run. All right, that's like almost perfect there, guys. 90% full. So luckily, there's a nice little road back here we can take. That should get us directly to the grain mill. And uh, we'll get to there, finish this up. And I'll probably end up just putting everything away once we unload. But um, basically, we are done for the day. So that is really, really sweet. So just time to head on out to the grain cart. Time to head on out to the grain mill. Alrighty guys, just turning back into the ranch here. Need to fill up the uh, tractor here because it's uh, a little bit on the empty side. And stop refueling. There we go. Nice and refilled. So we'll go ahead and put this away for right now. We're going to be needing that a little bit later. For once we get the grass cut here, which should happen in a bit. We won't park it too far back. We'll just park it right there. Go ahead and close it up for right now. There we go. But basically that's it for today guys i gotta check on horses and stuff make sure that everybody is doing good but uh that is going to be it for today guys hopefully you uh, enjoyed uh ended up being much longer on the uh on the harvesting bit than i thought i was going to be but it ended up turning out pretty good so anyways guys thank you for coming along we'll see you guys here next time on Illu illusion ranch in alma missouri see you guys here next time bye bye Grace of God.